Right now though, here's Phil Mackay and Pick a Number. once again to the wackiest and messiest game show on TV. Yes, it's now time to play... <laughs> that's right, the game that's split into two parts. The first part is for our pop expert, and as you know, that's pick a pop. And the second part gets very, very messy. Stay tuned. Let's welcome the schools on the programme. And from Ellen, it's Ellen Academy! Yeah! And from Dundee, it's Harris Academy! <laughs> right, let's meet the teams playing the game. And from Ellen Academy, will you welcome Graham Ferguson and Linda Chesson? And from Harris Academy in Dundee, will you welcome Jackie Martin and Mark Tooth? Right, we've met the teams, as you can see, the excitement's building up here on Pick a Number. Eight, Ellen Academy to start to play Pick a Pop, and Graham, Pick a Pop! Come on, Graham! Hey, Graham, what smashing's the photos in here today? Grand, aren't they? Yeah. What sort of pop band do you like, Graham? Status quo. Status quo, eh? Any more status quo fans? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> right, Graham, three questions. In which song is the line? It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. The firm, Star Trek. And Star Trek! And pick a point! <laughs> yeah, really cool song, that. I like that one. And who sang it? The firm. The firm, pick another point! <laughs> and in which band is Roland Orzabel? <laughs> it was. Tears for Fears! Never mind, you've scored two. Put your balls in. Come on! And Jackie! Come on, Jackie! Put the point! Okay, Jackie. And Jackie, what is your favourite pop band? Wet, wet, wet. Wet, wet, wet. Absolutely brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. Right. Jackie, three questions. Material Girl and Who's That Girl were hit for whom? Madonna. Madonna! Put the point! Right. Which other band has had a hit with a song called Who's That Girl? Judith Mex. Judith Mex, for your song! Yeah, she's wacky, wacky, very good, isn't she? Right, and which Motown group had a hit with Papa Was a Rolling Stone? Um, the Drifters. No, no. No, it was the... Boston. Yeah, well, we've actually got four Temptations, four Tops and the Screams. You've scored two! Oh. Give it a cheer, come on! Yeah. Right, Linda, pick a pop! Come on, Linda! Right, Linda, what's your wacky band? Which band do you like? Um, you two and Curious It Killed the Cat. Oh, yeah. yeah! Right, okay, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> um, well, the streets have no name, and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Well, hey, <laughs> which band? You two. You two, pick a point! Yeah! And you two have had LPs called October War and Under the Blood Red Sky. Is that true or false? True. It's true, pick another point! <laughs> And complete the name of the band, Huey Lewis and the News. The News. He's got three. And Mark, come on, Mark, pick a pop. Come on, Mark. Hey, well done, Mark. What do you like, Mark? Whitney Houston. You like Whitney Houston? Right. Okay. Right, Mark. Joe Elliott is the lead singer with which band? Oh. Don't know. I can't hear you. It's... That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and who had a number one last year with Spirit in the Sky? Doctor and the Medic. Well done, Pick a Point. Right. 
And this is a true or false question, right? Is Nikki Six and Mick Mars are members of Motley Crue? Is that true or false? True. True! You said true! Come on, cheer! Come on! Right, well done. Right, let's have a look at the scores at, after that round. And it's Harris with four points and Ellen Academy with five points! <laughs> hey. Right, we move on to round two, and this is called Place the Face. They come up here and they watch that famous pop star see if they can identify who it is. And it's Graham to come round and place the face. Come on, Graham! Right. Okay, Graham. You okay now? Right. Okay, Graham. Watch the monitor and who is it? Uh, Corinne Drury. That's right, pick a point! Yeah! And which band does she sing with? Swing Out Sister. Swing Out Sister, yeah! pick another point! Oh, hey, he's pretty good this one, eh? And what's the title of their best-selling LP? It's Better to Travel. It's Better to Travel! Well done, you scored three! Go on, put your points in, well done! Well done, and Jackie, come round and place the face. Right. Okay, Jackie. Right. Okay, team. Jackie, watch this, and who is it? Simon Le Bon. Simon Le Bon, pick a point. That's right. And what? What is best known? What is his best known hobby? Sailing. Sailing, yachting. Pick a point. Yes. And what's the title of Duran Duran's most recent LP? Notorious. Notorious! Well done! You scored three. Right. That's the end of Place to Face. Round three is Play a Pop. And they listen to that famous piece of music. And it's Linda to play a pop. Come on, Linda! Oh. <laughs> hey. Right, Linda. Now then, you like pop music. Listen to this piece of music and name the song. Okay, Linda. Uh -huh. Name, right, Linda, name the song. West End Girls. West End Girls, that's right, the Pet Shop Boys for the point. And name either of the people in the band. Uh, Any member of the band? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, mm. I know you know it, you know it, Linda. Right, it's. Yeah. That's right, Chris Lowe or Neil Tennant, never mind. And which 60s star sang on their most recent single? Dusty Springfield. Dusty Springfield! Well done, you two! Well done! And Mark! Come on, Mark, round here! Hey! Right, Mark, you're good at music and listen to this and name the song! Okay, young Mark, name the song. You got the look. You got the look, yes, Prince, pick a point. Well done. And what was the colour of the rain in Prince's hit LP of 1984? Purple. Purple, pick another point. And which Scots singer appears on You Got the Look? Sheena Easton. Sheena Easton. Well done, well done. Right, you scored three. Right, a quick recap of the scores after the end of Play a Pop. And eight. Harris Academy with 10, and Ellen Academy with 10! Yeah! Oh! Right, let's move back on swiftly now to the top 20 board over here. And eight, Graham, pick a pop! Come on, Graham! Oh, oh, Graham. Right, Graham. Now then, what have we got here? According to the band, what does Johnny hate? Jazz. Johnny hates jazz, pick a point! Yeah! And Wishing Well was the second hit for whom? Terence Trent Derby. Terence Trent Derby, pick another point! Yeah! And with which band did Holly Johnson sing? Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Well done! Yeah! You scored three, well done! And Jackie, pick a point! Yeah! Come on, Jackie! Yeah! 
right, let's have a look, Jackie, what you've got now. And, Jackie, three more questions. Mark King is with which band? Level 42. Level 42, pick a point. Yeah! And who are they hit with my favourite waste of time? Owen Paul. Owen Paul. Yeah! And complete the band name. Living. Living. In a box. In a box, well done. Yeah! Go on. And Linda, pick a pop. Come on, Linda. Hey, Linda. Right, let's have a look, Linda. And your three questions are, Martin Degville is with which band? Mm. Yes. They hit the headlines fairly, fairly recently. It's Zig Zig Sputnik. And whose 1986 LP was Graceland? Um, That's it. I can't remember. A boy's name? name. Um, Paul. Paul. Um, yeah, yeah. Paul. Simon. Simon. Never mind. And whose debit hit was Coming On Strong? Broken. English. English, pick a point. Well done. Well done. Come on. And Mark, pick a point. Come on, Mark. Okay, Mark. Hey, Mark. You play the piano, don't you? Yeah. yeah, what sort of songs do you play? Um, boring. Sorry? Boring. Boring songs. Oh, I don't think you do. Anyway, the best luck with these three questions. Roland Gift sings with which band? Fine Young Carnival. Pick a point. Yeah! And what was Mel and Kim's hit FLM shot for? Fun, love and money. Well done. Yeah, yeah I could do with some money. Right, and who had a number one with Who's That Girl? Madonna. Madonna! Well done, Mark. Right, that's the end of Pick a Pop. Let's now look at the final scores after that. And it's Ellen Academy with 14 points. Yeah! Come on. And slightly in the lead, it's Harris Academy with 16 points. Hey. Oh, it's great fun, this. Right, but I'm sure, I'm sure Ellen will catch up in our next game. Stay tuned because we're now going to play our very messy game. It's Pick a number! <laughs> right, hey, right. Over here is the team. So now let's meet the teams playing the messy game, Pick a Number. And from Ellen Academy, will you welcome Kevin Pollock, <laughs> Scott Robertson, and Magnus Sinclair. And from Harris Academy in Dundee, will you welcome Rodney Johnston? Yeah! Leslie Busek! Yeah! And Matt Cooper! Yeah! Hey! Right, you've now met the teams, you've now met the teams, we're going to have fun. And remember, it's points or custard pies. Do you like the wacky shots? Do you like them? You're good, eh? Yeah! Right, hey! Right, but first, the highlight is the gunge bucket. So, can I have Graham to fetch the gunge bucket on? Graham, look at the gunge. Fetch it on, Graham. Here goes. Woo! -hoo. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh. Right, would you like some? Yeah! Right. What's in there, Graham? Uh, oh, it's horrible. Smell it. <laughs> Smell it. Oh. Take it away. Go away, Graham. Oh. We'll see that at the end of the show. Right. <laughs> We're going to have fun now. Stay well back off your telly. And it's Ellen Academy to start. And Kevin, pick a number! <laughs> okay, Kevin, come here. <laughs> right, okay, Kevin, let's have a look. We've got number four. Right, Kevin, what do you like doing back home? Uh, karate. You do like karate? Yeah. You give me a go at karate later on. <laughs> right. Also, also, it says that you're quite a good singer. No, I'm not bad. You're not bad. Well, actually, actually, he's quite good at the one and only Tina Turner, believe it or not. So, Tina, yeah, yeah, just face there, and here's Tina Turner. On you go. Two people living on the edge of life. Go on, that's good. Our people. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Right, okay. Right. We're going to ask you now to do something rather silly, right? Because, <laughs> yes, yes, we're going to blindfold you, right? Yes. Because we want you now to identify, we want you to identify some, some uh, foodstuffs blindfolded, okay? Let's have them off here. We've got one there, one there, oops, one there. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Who thought of all these anyway? 
and one there. Right. Okay. We've got 15 seconds to identify all the foodstuffs. That's number one, starting from now. Right, what is it? Oh, God, spaghetti. Spaghetti, well done. Next one. There, what is it? Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, what is it? Tomato plum. No, no, a tomato plum. Try this one. Try the next one. Oh, cabbage. Uh, uh, not a cabbage, no. Okay, lettuce. Lettuce, right. Next one. Ooh, what's that? Quickly. Uh, a date. A date, well done. Over there. What's this one? What's that one there? That's one. It's a banana. It's a banana. And one more. One more. Quickly, what's That's that? A grape. A grape. Well done. You did really, really well. Oh, yeah. You did, you did really, really well, actually. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. You deserve three points for your school. Come on, take them in. Three points. Rodney, pick a number. Come on, Rodney. Come on, Rodney. Right. How are you today, Rodney? You all right, eh? Yes. Good, right. Rodney, you like doing impressions as well. Yeah. Because we have a right royal visitor in the studio right now. Yes, we have. Because it's Charles. Right, okay, Charles, here we go. Uh, yes, what is happening here? This is a, a pick a number a studio, is it? <clears throat> I think I'm in a bit of a trouble. I think it is. <laughs> uh, yes, well, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, What's this man's name? Frank Spencer, my name. <laughs> uh, well done, Ronnie. That was brilliant. Give him a cheer. Come on. Yeah! Right. You're now going to clean your teeth. How often do you clean your teeth back home? Uh, twice a Did you do it this morning? No, I forgot. You forgot? Well, we're going to do it right now. You don't forget. <laughs> you never forget. And this is the magic trolley. One toothbrush, some fresh water, and some toothpaste. Okay? Put the toothbrush in there. That's it. Some water on. Put the toothbrush. On you go. Toothpaste on the brush. Clean your teeth and you've got to sing a song, Three Blind Mice While Cleaning Your Teeth. Okay, nice and loud. Clean your teeth and sing Three Blind Mice. Go ahead. That was brilliant! Well done! Well done! Well done! Right, we'll get you some water in a minute. You scored three points for your team. Put them in. Right, well done. And Scott! Come on, Scott! Come on, Scott! Right. Okay, lucky 13. We'll see if it's lucky for you, Scott. Right. <laughs> and Scott, you're a bit of an impressionist as well. Yes, we've got a lot of comedians on pick a number because young Scott here is going to do an impression of the one and only Vera Duckworth and Mavers. Right, are we going to have the theme tune to Coronation Street? Come on! Yay! Okay, Scott and Q Mavers. Yeah, I don't kids. I don't really know. <laughs> that was good. Well done. Right, right. We want you now. Do you like marshmallows? Not really. Right, okay. Put the marshmallows in your mouth. First of all, let's see how good you are at whistling. Whistle. Whistle again. Louder. That's quite good. Put the marshmallows in. Oh. Uh, mm, uh. And let's move the magic trolley back. And now, whistle a song. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very good, is he? No. Is he going to do it? No. No. Oh. Should we give him a custard pie? Yeah. Oh, I'm the Scott. Oh, you know what that means? It's a custard pie. Good Jackie. Good. Oh, well done, well done. Well, no points there, no points. And Leslie, pick a number. Come on, Leslie. Okay, Leslie, and you like sports, cycling, and you like eating. What's your favourite food? Chips. Oh, do you, make, do you cook the chips back home? Mm. Your mum does it, does she? <laughs> right, uh, give mum a wave, she's there. Give her a wave. Hiya, mum. Right, are you good at tongue twisters? No, not oh, I'll tell you what. Right, I'm going to say this one very fast. We'll see how good I am. And it's the skeleton shops at the chop suey shop. The skeleton shops at the chop suey shop. Can you do that very fast? Have a look there. Skeleton shops at the chop suey shop. The skeleton shops at the cheese shop. Ah. The skeleton shops at the cheese shop. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You're pretty good, but not good enough. Not good enough. But I'll tell you what we'll do. Because you're fairly good, we'll give you two points and a custard pie. Come on, custard pie! <laughs> Yes, and two points for your team. Well done. Magnus, pick a number. Come on, Magnus. 
Right. Okay. It's number seven for Magnus. And let's have a look what's on number seven for you. Ah, Magnus, can you remember when you were a little baby in the pram? <laughs> of course you can, can't you, Mum? Yeah, right. Okay, and also you like doing impressions, yeah? What's your favourite? Uh, Neil and Rick Mayo. Ne Neil and Rick Mayo? Yeah. Or the young ones? Yeah. Oh, right, let's have Neil and Rick Mayo off the young ones. Oh, yeah, like, wow, look, live TV, look, hi, Mum. <laughs> look, really, look, there's the cameraman, look, hi. <laughs> well done, we've got one point, give him a cheer, come on. Yeah! Okay, we've got some lovely custard here. Oh yeah. And in there is a baby's dummy. You've got to get the baby's dummy out in 15 seconds without your hands. Hands behind your back. You have 15 seconds to get the baby's dummy starting from now. Oh, is he going to do it? Yeah! Yes, and he's got it. He's got it. Well done, well done. Right, well done. You've scored, you've scored, uh, you scored three points. Come on, put your points in. Over here. <laughs> Give him a cheer. Come on. Right. Oh, right, right. You know what that means? That's the buzzer. And this is our final round. So, can I now ask the next two? Can I ask the next two, Kevin and Mark, to come up here? Come on. Mark, stand on here. Right. Stand down here. Right. How are you, Mark? Okay. Yeah. And you do impressions as well, don't you? Yeah. Whoa. Dame Edna Everidge. Right, let's have a quick blast at Dame Edna Everidge. On you go. Hello, my little wallabies. It's Dame Edna Everidge here. As you well know, I'm not very good at impressions, but that little kid, Mark Cooper, does a pretty good one of me. So please don't give him the gun. Well done, give him a cheer. Yeah. Right. One point, one point. Right, you've done an impression before. This is now the head-to-head, -head, boys, right? Meet each other. Kevin, meet Mark. Mark, meet Kevin. Shake hands. You're the best of friends. Let's have it on. Here it comes. Right, this is the head-to-head, -head, boys. We have got two boxes of balloons. One down there and one down there, right? What we want you to do, boys, is this. You have now got to use these balloons to make an animal figure, right? You've got to make an animal figure, fold them up and bend them and twist them any way you want. You've got 20 seconds to do this, right? And remember, if you do it right, we're going to double the points. If you don't do it right and it's a horrible animal, it's the gunge. So you 15 seconds, both boys. Starting from now, go for it! Okay. How are they going to do? <laughs> Come on, boys, hurry up! Oh, hurry up! How are you doing? Oh, come on, boys, quickly! Come on! Oh, ho, ho. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. Let's have a look at this. Now then, Mark, what is that? A starfish. A starfish. <laughs> a starfish. Does that look like a starfish? Yeah! And what is this? It's a dog with a big nose. It's got no legs. It's a dog with a big nose, but it's got no legs. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah! Now then. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Who do you think is the best one? Yeah. The starfish or this one? Yeah. What do you think? Well, 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 actually, I don't know what you could do with that. There's no leg, a dog with no legs, but he said this is a starfish. And it actually looks like a starfish. At least it's a good try, isn't it? So, you're going to score double the points and you've yeah. got the gun! Yeah! Right, let's now look at the final score. And it's Ellen Academy with 17 points. Yeah! And in the lead, it's Harris Academy with 27 yeah! points. Oh. <laughs> right, right. This is the big moment you've been waiting for and I've been waiting for. So there. let's have the gunge. Come on, Jackie and Mark, this way. Okay, go around there, Jackie. Just stand there and stand there. It's horrible, horrible, smelly stuff. Right, young Kevin, have you anything to say back home before you get the gunge? Uh, what? I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> He's sorry, Mum. Well done, Mum. Are you ready? Gun! No! Gun! Gun! Five, four, three, two, one! Oh, it's horrible! Right, I hope you've enjoyed the show back home because we certainly had fun here today in the studio. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah! 
right. Do join us again same time next Saturday morning at 11.30 with more fun when they take a chance and pick a number. Bye for now.